So your Apollo twin is showing the common sign of imminent death. Suddenly you get no sound. Don't worry, believe it or not, it still has a couple years of life left in it. Here are five ways to fix it. I'm Kimara, founder of Singer Success Path. I help singers and rappers make a sustainable income with their voices without performing live. Links below will show you more about that. But for now, let's get you back up and running so we can get to the good stuff, recording and making money with your voice. Unfortunately, this is likely to happen again several times, hopefully many months apart. But one thing I recommend is to actually avoid powering it down because it's usually when I turn it back on that it doesn't work. At some point you might decide it's time to move on like I did. Technically my Apollo twin still functions but mic input one is definitely no longer with us and I got tired of going through these resets so I finally upgraded to the Epogee Symphony desktop and I love it. So let's start with the faster easier fixes and see if it's one of those before we try all this stuff that takes more than 30 seconds because when you're ready to start recording it's a major buzzkill to spend a bunch of time troubleshooting and you jump into the booth feeling frustrated so hopefully this will fix it fast and you can jump into the booth feeling proud of yourself for fixing stuff. Okay number one Let's check that our internal clock is set correctly. I don't entirely know why this accidentally gets changed on us, but maybe you used a different piece of hardware and it just auto set to SB diff on you. So open up your Apollo console app on your computer. Down the bottom, you see your clock setting. If it says internal, that's actually right. You're good. However, setting it intentionally wrong to SB diff and then setting it back to internal has fixed it for me several times. Your number two fix, if it's your mic that isn't getting sound, but you can hear playback okay, just try the other mic input. I lost the use of one of my inputs. It's just broken. So I ended up using mic input two for a while. Fix number three, restart your computer. This fixes like 70% of all your problems. So give it a try because the next solution takes a minute. However, it might be the one you need. So number four, factory resets. And I say resets, plural, unfortunately, because you might need to do this several times before it actually works. But if all the other stuff didn't work, this is probably going to be the solution for you. Here's how to do it. Step one, power down the Apollo and unplug everything. Step two, plug in just the power cable. Step three, you're going to press and hold preamp, low cut, main knob, and polarity. Once you're somehow dexterous enough to hold all four buttons down at the same time, snap on the power button while still holding everything down for about 10 more seconds. When you let go, you should see blinking. Step four, turn it back off. Step five, plug everything back in while it's still off, plug it back into your computer, then power on and it should be working now. If it is not working, Try again. And by the way, if you accidentally let go of one of the buttons while you were doing it, you got to start over. If you did it right, just do it one more time. If it's still nothing, restart your computer again, double check the internal clock again, and try factory resetting again. By then, you should be up and running. If you tried your other mic input from here and it still doesn't fix it, then I believe there are one of two problems. One, your interface is fried, or two, something else is wrong and your interface is not even the problem. Always check that you plugged in your monitors, that they're powered on, the volume is turned up, your mic is actually plugged in, phantom power is on if it's a condenser mic, you chose the correct playback engine, your I.O. settings are correct. And one last thing, check your plugins. This just happened to me. My master fader had no signal on it whatsoever, no green, nothing. It ended up being one of the plugins on the master needed an update. This could also screw you up if you had a plugin in a trial period and it ended. That plugin could be causing the whole session to not play anything. So check your plugins. Maybe one of them needs help. And listen, if you're a singer and recording from home is a new thing for you, I want to share my free recording routine workshop with you. The link in the description will take you right to it. Connect with me on Instagram at Chimera Morel. And most importantly, please subscribe to my channel and comment below if you're up and running or not. This channel has a bunch of recording help, but my main thing is helping singers make money from their home studios. So check out my other videos and I'll help you launch your singing business. Links below for all the resources and I hope to see you soon. Jump. Mm -hmm.